Copyright 2018. Walters Kluwer. Chapter 9. Nursing Care During Normal Pregnancy and Care of the Developing Fetus. Stages of Development. Fertilization, also referred to as conception and impregnation union of ovum and spermatozoan. Implantation, contact between growing structure and uterine endometrium, approximately 8 to 10 days after fertilization. Terms used to describe fetal growth, includes the ovum, which is from ovulation to fertilization. Zygote refers to fertilization to implantation. Embryo, refers to implantation to 5 to 8 weeks, while fetus refer to as 5 to 8 weeks until it reaches term. Conceptus is the developing embryo and placental structures throughout pregnancy and age of viability, the earliest age at which fetuses survive if they are born is generally accepted as 24 weeks or at the point a fetus weighs more than 500-600 grams. The table shows the critical periods of fetal growth. 2020 National Health Goals Related to Fetal Growth, Reduce the Fetal Death Rate, Death Between 20 and 40 Weeks of Gestation, to no more than 5.6 per 1,000 live births from a baseline of 6.2 per 1,000. Reduce low birth weight to an incidence of 7.8% of live births and very low birth weight to 1.4% of live births from baselines of 8.2% and 1.5%. Increase the proportion of women of childbearing potential with an intake of at least 400 mg of folic acid from fortified foods or dietary supplements from a baseline of 23.8% to 26.2%. Reasons for testing and assessing the fetal growth and development. Predict outcome of pregnancy. Manage remaining weeks of pregnancy. Plan for assessing fetal growth and development also includes the health history. Physical examination. Estimating fetal health. Fetal growth. McDonald's rule. Evaluating nursing care, outcomes evaluation. Were healthy lifestyle changes made? Do the parents have confidence that baby is healthy and growing? In assessing the estimated date of confinement or delivery, a certain formula is to be used, to calculate the date of birth by this rule, count backward three calendar months from the first day of a woman's last menstrual period and add seven days. For example, if the last menstrual period began May 15, you would count back three months, April 15, March 15, February 15, and add 7 days, to arrive at the predicted date of birth as February 22. Check the image on how to measure the fundal height. Another assessment of fetal growth and development. Fetal well-being includes. Fetal movement, kick counts. Fetal heart rate. Ultrasonography. Biophysical profile, and. MRI. Measuring the fetal heart tone, through Doppler, fetoscope or stethoscope. Maternal serum analysis. Maternal serum alpha fetoprotein. Maternal serum for pregnancy associated plasma protein A. Quadruple screening, and fetal gender. Invasive fetal testing. Chorionic villi sampling. Amniocentesis. Percutaneous umbilical blood sampling, and Fetoscopy. Nursing diagnoses, fetal growth and development, focus on mother, family, and fetus. Readiness for enhanced knowledge related to usual fetal development. Anxiety related to lack of fetal movement, and deficient knowledge related to need for good prenatal care for healthy fetal well-being. Nursing outcomes, fetal growth and development outcome identification and planning. Parental education. Be realistic. Based on parents' previous knowledge and desire for information and explain additional assessment measures needed. Implementing nursing care. Teaching about fetus at various points in pregnancy to help parents visual coming newborn. Teaching about healthy behaviors. Showing sonogram to help initiate bonding. And individualize care. Evaluating nursing care. Outcomes Evaluation Were healthy lifestyle changes made? Do the parents have confidence that baby is healthy and growing? Practice Questions Question number 1. 
a fetus is able to maintain blood circulation in utero by the presence of circulatory shunts. The nurse understands this is because the ductus arteriosus in utero shunts blood in which direction? Letter A left to right heart atria. Letter B aorta to the pulmonary veins. Let's see. Right ventricle to the aorta. Letter D pulmonary artery to the aorta. Answer number 1. Pulmonary artery to the aorta. Rationale, because the fetal lungs are not inflated, blood must be diverted past them. The ductus arteriosus helps to do this by shunting blood from the pulmonary artery to the aorta. Question number 2 Mrs. Smith asks the nurse to compute her expected due date. Based on the fact that her last menstrual flow began on July 20, which due date would the nurse estimate? Letter A April 27 Letter B March 13 Letter C April 13 Letter D May 20 Answer number 2 A April 27 Rationale, Nagel's rule is to count backward 3 months and add 7 days from the first day of the last menstrual period to determine an expected due date. Question number 3 Which of the following nursing interventions is appropriate when preparing a woman for an amniocentesis, a. Inform her that a narcotic premedication will be given to prevent pain during needle insertion. B. Be certain she knows that there is a slight risk of complication, such as premature labor, from amniocentesis. C. Instruct her not to empty her bladder prior to the procedure. D. Suggest that she take a deep breath and hold it during needle insertion. Answer 3. B. Be certain she knows that there is a slight risk of complication, such as premature labor, from amniocentesis. Rationale, amniocentesis carries a slight risk of beginning labor. The woman should not hold her breath because that depresses the diaphragm, shifts the contour of the uterus, and may shift the location of the placenta to the chosen needle insertion site. The bladder should be emptied to avoid accidental puncture.